Hello, welcome to Control Delete Tutorials. Uh, we are continuing on creating our uh, tank that we can use here in Unity. We first started off in 3D Studio Max where we created the tanks uh, animation. Uh, we brought that in, so we exported out some different animations. And now we're going to, oh, uh, and we set up our animator controller and our blend tree so that we can um, now start setting up our code for these animations. Um, and so this video is just going to focus on the programming for the uh, animations. So to do that, I'm going to go down to scripts. Uh, I will right click and we're going to be programming in C sharp. And I'm just going to name this tank and anim, uh, animation. That's fine. Tank animation. And when I double click in, uh, this, it should open up in either Mono Develop or if you have Visual Studio installed, it'll, in, uh, it'll pop up in Visual Studio. So we'll just wait for that. Let's see what's going on with Visual Studio. It's already opened up and it should already pop up here. Let's make sure we double clicked on that. There we go. I must have delayed my click too much or something. So, just wait a couple minutes for that. Okay, so. So the important thing is, is here under our public class, we should make sure that it has the same name as the file that we're working on. And by default, it should. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to create a variable to hold the um, animator. So I'm just going to type in uh, animator. And I'm going to name this just anim. And that will be my uh, variable for that. And then I'm going to create a, uh, a Boolean, so a variable that's a Boolean. So I'm going to do a public. And I like to make them public just so I can see them in the inspector. Um, it's not necessary to do this, but it, it's nice that if I'm troubleshooting things, I can just kind of see it there and make sure it's working. Uh, so this will be of the type bool, so public bool. Uh, I'm going to name this idling, and by default, I will set its value at true, just like I did in the last video when I set up the uh, animator controller and I defaulted that to being true. Okay, so on start, what we want to do is we want to get the uh, animator component from whatever object this is applied to. So I'm going to say anim. Uh, equals, and I'm going to do get component, and we'll use the left and uh, we'll use the less than greater than sign there, and the left and right uh, parentheses and our semicolon. So in between less than and greater than, um, we're going to type animator. And that will give us, um, that will set this anim to our, um, our object's animator, its component, which is good. And then um, the next part we're going to be doing down in update. So we're going to create a couple of uh, float variables. So I'm going to have one, and this one is not going to be accessed in the inspector, so I don't have to put public there. So we're going to do float, and I'm just going to name this h for horizontal uh, direction. And uh, I'm going to get my uh, input uh, information. So if we go back to Unity, we can see here, if I go to edit, project settings, input, we have our input manager, and we have these uh, axes. And so we have one name horizontal and vertical, and these actually use the left and right arrows and the A and D buttons for their negative and positive value, um, which basically means if I hit left, this, um, this input will be equal to negative one. If I hit right, it'll be equal to a positive one. And if I don't hit either, uh, horizontal will equal zero. So I'm actually using horizontal here. So I'm just going to copy that while I'm here. Just makes it typing it a little bit easier. 
and I have two Visual Studios open. All right, so we're going to say input dot, and we're going to use get axis. So down here, get axis, and we'll do the left and right, and uh, left and right parentheses and our semicolon. So in here, we're going to have a string value. So that'll be our quotes. And I'm just going to paste control V horizontal. So our uh, float H is going to equal our horizontal input. We're going to do the same idea, but make this easier. We're just going to copy this and we'll paste it down below. So this is going to get our vertical direction. So I'll just make the float uh, V and in here, I'll type vertical. Okay, so that gives me my horizontal and my vertical. Underneath here, I'm going to create an if statement that's going to check whether or not uh, any of these controls are being hit so I can control my uh, idle Boolean. So I'm going to say if, and I'll do my left and right parentheses, and my left and right curly brackets. So in my conditions here, I'm going to put uh, if input dot get uh, axis um, horizontal would be easier if I just copied that horizontal. Oh, my mistake there. Let's there we go. Um, so if the input get axis horizontal does not equal, so that's going to be an exclamation point equal, does not equal 0, 0.0f, and we use that because it's a float value. So if it doesn't equal 0 here, or, so with that I'm going to do uh, two of those, I don't know what they're called, I just call it the um, upward slash. Um, I'm sure it has a better name than that, but um, I'm going to use two of those, that means or, and I'm just going to copy this one so I don't have to retype all this again. And this is going to be the same idea that's here. We'll see that. And I'll paste that here. So if horizontal doesn't equal zero or um, vertical doesn't equal zero, so if either one of those doesn't equal zero, which means they're either a positive value or a negative value. Then idling, that's what I named it, right? Yeah, idling equals false. Okay. Now there is part of what I'm doing here. I could use like a if and an else, but if you're just learning programming, this might make more sense to you. Um, and I just like to use this method. So uh, we're going to copy all of this. And if you notice, I like to put spaces in between um, certain things. Um, so I have my like variables here, and I have a space here before I do my ifs. Um, so I'm going to set this one to true. But in order for this one to be true, it has to say if horizontal equals equals, which means it's checking to see if it equals 0, 0.0f and which would be two ands, just like two equals and two of these lines for or. Um, vertical equals zero. So if both values equal zero, that means I'm not hitting any, any control and my idling is true. So these will check whether or not I'm moving or not moving, which is good. Okay, so under here. So after those, now I have to set up my um, anim uh, sets. Uh, my uh, anim parameters. Um, those are what we created here. So these are named H, V, and idle. And so I'm going to um, make part of my code change these. So to do that we use set float for H and V and set bool for the idle. So if I go back here, we're going to say anim, so we're getting the animator dot uh, set float 
And under set float, it's going to first look for what is the float value that we want to set. So I'm just going to do uh, left and right parentheses there. So we're going to put that in there. So our first one is going to be um, H was what we named our horizontal value. So H is going to be set to our float value of H. So I can just say H equals H basically. Um, so if my uh, H value here changes, it will update the one in the animator. So we'll copy that. So that's our horizontal. Control C. Anim set float V is set to our variable V, which is our vertical axis. And then our last one is the set bool. So anim dot set bool. Left and right parentheses, semicolon. I always do that just so I make sure I have them. So this one we named idle with a lowercase i. So we're going to do idle, comma. So that's going to equal idling. Okay. And then our, um, no, and that's it. That's it for this one. Uh, it says here that I might be missing something. I'm going to save and make sure that these are uh, accurate. So let's see, make sure I didn't miss anything there. Uh, I don't see anything. So sometimes we see errors here. Once we save and we go into Unity, they're usually fine, but we'll see if I do. Um, Unexpected symbol false. Let's take a look. Oh, that's my mistake. This should be idling equals false and idling equals. That's my mistake. True. That's why we're getting those errors. See, it knew what it was doing. I was trying to be playing it off like I didn't mess anything up when I did. All right. So go back into Unity. These will clear up in a second. Uh, inconsistent line endings. We're not worried about that. Okay, so I have my script here, tank animation. This is going to go on my tank object because it's what has the animator on it. So we'll see tank animation script. So now if I hit play and I'm going to, actually I'll keep this um, so that it's um, not maximized. That way you can actually see things kind of working here. So we'll select our tank object. I'm going to hit play. Okay, so we should see it idling there. Let me make the um, let me make the ground a different texture here. So I'm just going to create a material because it's kind of hard to see. So I'll just call this ground. And I'm going to make it a darker gray. Nothing really special about it. Oops. This is my game window, so can't drop it in there. All right, so back to my animator. My tank object, so I'll hit play. We'll see the little piston things there kind of moving. And we see that we're in tank idle because I haven't pressed anything. So if I press up, we should see it switch to the blend tree. Let's move that over. And we'll also see the value here change. So I press up, and my vertical value goes to 1. If I press down goes to negative 1. If I press left, goes to negative 1. And if I press right, it goes to positive 1. So all of these that I press, and it does change the animation. Uh, like I said, if the animations are playing too fast, I can always go in and uh, manually change that um, in here. So right now if I select here, I can go to speed and go 0 0.5 on all of these. Um, and they should be able to change. So let's see here. And it'll also be easier to notice if this is maximized. So let's see. So if I press right, you can see there, my ones on the right are moving back, the ones on the left are moving forward. Hit left, if I hit forward, and if I hit backward, 
No, that speed actually works pretty good. I'm happy with that. Okay. So there's that. Um, so that's just the animation. So that's going to do it for this video. In the next video, which should be the final video, we will set up the actual controls uh, for moving the parent and moving the tank object around. And we'll set up a couple of objects in the scene so that we can either push them or not push them around. So thanks for watching. I hope you liked this video. Um, if you did, please check out some of the other videos that I've done. And definitely make sure you check out the next video so you know how to finish this project up for now. Um, like I said, please like, comment, and subscribe. Um, leave me comments letting me know what else you would like me to do. Um, try to get as many of those done as I can. So, again, thanks for watching.